Welcome to PSLE Maths, where you find solutions to PSLE Math problems. Please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for notification. Thank you. Let's look at a question from Singapore Chinese Girls School, 2019 prelims paper. This is question number 17. We have a pattern problem here. Pattern problems usually can be done in three methods. We have to identify which is the most appropriate method for the given pattern. This pattern, uh, pattern 1, 2 and 3 are given. Study the pattern carefully and answer the questions that follow. How many triangles are needed to form pattern 25? Which pattern is made up of 217 straight lines? And what is the total number of triangles and squares needed to form pattern 48? So let's look at this pattern. The pattern number 1, 2 and 3, the number of triangles is given as 4, 6, 8. So this pattern has got a constant difference. So this method is called constant difference. With the constant difference, in this case 2, we find out pattern 0. Remember, with constant difference problems, we find out pattern 0. So pattern 0 is nothing but, if you see from pattern 3 to pattern 2, the number of triangle is reduced by 2. Pattern 2 to pattern 1, the number of triangle reduces from 6 to 4, so reduces by 2. So likewise, for pattern 0, the number of triangles will be 4 minus 2, which is 2, which is a constant, which is what we call as a constant. And then it increases by 2 for every pattern. So it is 2 times the pattern number. So the number of triangles become 2 times the pattern number plus 2. So this is a formula we have to generate for each variable in that pattern. In this case, the first question is how many triangles are needed to form pattern 25. So it's very easy once we get the pattern formula n is equal to 25. So 2 times 25 is 50 plus 2 is 52. So there will be 52 triangles in pattern 25. Now let's look at the second question. Which pattern is made up of 217 straight lines. So let's now draw, now write down the number of straight lines. Straight lines is given as 4, 7, 10. So this also you notice the number of straight lines is increasing by 3. This is also a constant difference. So we find out for pattern 0, the number of straight lines is 4 minus 3, which is 1. Likewise for pattern 4, the number of straight lines will be 10 plus 3, which is 13. So in this case, the constant is 1 and the number of straight lines becomes 3 times n because 3 is the number of straight lines that, they, that get added to each pattern. So the number of straight line, the formula is 3 times n plus 1. So which pattern will have 217 straight lines? We just have to equate 3 times n plus 1 is equal to 217, which means 3 times n is equal to 216. n is equal to 216 divided by 3, which is 72. So pattern number 72 will have 217 straight lines. Let's come to the last part of the question, which is what is the total number of triangles and squares needed to form pattern 48? Number of triangles, we already found out the formula to be 2n plus 1, 2n plus 2. 2 times of 48, pattern number 48, plus 2, 2 times 48 is 96, plus 2 is 98. So 98 would be the number of triangles in pattern 48. Number of squares here is very straightforward. Pattern 1 has 1 square. Pattern 2 has 2 squares. Pattern 3 has 3 squares. So pattern 48 will have 48 squares. So the sum of number of triangles and number of squares in pattern 48 will be 98 plus 48, which is 146. That's the answer for the last part of the question. So this is an interesting pattern problem. We will see more pattern problems in future.
Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more problem sums. If you have a specific question that you would like to see a video on, please post it in the comment section. Thank you.